A lot of news has been circling the past few days about 38-year-old 10-time NBA All-Star Carmelo Anthony. The last NBA game that Carmelo Anthony played with the Los Angeles Lakers was on April 5th where he played 24 minutes and posted 10 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, and a block. When looking at his season stats, Carmelo Anthony continued to score the ball coming off the bench for the Lakers. Anthony averaged 13.3 points, 4.2 rebounds, 1 assist, and a block and a steal in the 2021-22 season. When Carmelo Anthony signed with the Lakers, we can assume that the Lakers front office didn't sign Melo so he could do anything but score the ball. The Lakers were building what looked to be a quote-unquote super team, and if I had to guess, LeBron probably wanted to sign Melo to make an attempt at getting him a ring. Not only do I think Melo could still play in today's NBA, as well as many other NBA players who think the same thing, I think that he could make an impact on many teams depending on the role they have in play. Each and every day, the defense being played in the NBA declines. Carmelo Anthony was able to have multiple 20-plus point performances last year as a 6th or 7th man on a pretty loaded Lakers roster. At his forward position, many teams have room for a spot-up shooter type player, and although Melo's athleticism comes into play at his age, there's no argument against Melo finding a role. No, Carmelo Anthony is not doing reverse dunks like LeBron in his late 30s, but Melo is a much more consistent shooter. I've seen a few different rumors on Instagram and Twitter about where Melo could land, and if he does decide to sign with the team. But my favorite has to be the Phoenix Suns. While I have you here, be sure to subscribe and comment if you think Melo will sign with the NBA team. I first saw this by a Twitter user who goes by the name of at Melo Central. Apparently, Phoenix Suns point guard Chris Paul mentioned that he would love for the Suns to sign Carmelo Anthony shortly after making a trade for Kevin Durant. I think Melo would fit great on the Suns. The Suns' weakness is definitely going to be their defense, even now, but I mean, Carmelo Anthony had more blocks than Suns starting center DeAndre Ayton last season. Melo could come off the bench and play a consistent role in their rotation. There's no denying Melo would hit shots, although it could take him a little while to adjust back to the NBA. Also, just recently, one or two days ago, many people were mentioning that Kevin Durant said that not necessarily he would love for the Suns to sign him, but he believes Carmelo Anthony could find a role in the NBA and that his skill would 100% give him an opportunity to still play in this league. Just earlier in February, Melo was interviewed about his possible return, and although he gave a pretty basic answer, he said he has never ruled it out. You have given so much to the game of basketball, and there are a ton of people wondering if they'll ever see you put on an NBA uniform and suit up in an NBA game again. Have you ruled out a comeback, and if not, are you just waiting for the right opportunity? Yeah, I've never ruled it out. You didn't hear it from me, you didn't hear from nobody. <laughs> uh, it ain't true, but no, I've never ruled it out, man. But my thing is, I still, life goes on, right? I still have to continue to do these things. I still got to do what we got to do. And I still got to provide for these kids, right? So I can't, you know, project what I have going on into these situations for these kids, man, because this, they have nothing to do with that. Now, my reasons why Carmelo Anthony might not sign with the team. One, Melo has mentioned a lot over the past year or so that he wants to take time and help his son, Kaya, and develop his game. Kaya and Anthony is currently a sophomore and recently just transferred to Long Island Lutheran High School in New York. I think Cayenne has a lot of potential and has already received offers from schools like Memphis, Bryant, George Mason, and his father's alumni, Syracuse. Carmelo knows Cayenne has potential and knows his strongest attribute is his shooting. I would not be surprised if at this point in his life, Melo would rather help his son achieve his goals of making it to the NBA rather than continuing to play. 2. Melo just genuinely doesn't want to continue to play. I think Carmelo definitely wishes he could have won a ring, but I think he also knows how young this current NBA is. Physically, Melo would likely not be able to keep up. Now, this isn't definitely why he won't join a team, because he can still shoot the ball as one of the best in the league. Overall, I would love to see Carmelo Anthony, my favorite NBA player of all time, sign with the team. I'm just not sure it will happen. Carmelo Anthony is a guaranteed Hall of Famer and a New York Knicks legend, one of the best pure scorers the NBA has ever seen in this world. Anybody that ever touched a basketball. Anthony will always be remembered as a college national basketball champion with Syracuse and one of the best pure scorers to ever touch a basketball. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you think Carmelo Anthony will sign with the team.